neutral side action, and we're just about set to kick off. This coin toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Houston is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. Whoa, he just took a lick it. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. He's out to the 30. He's to the 40. Across midfield. And they bring him down at the 29. Boy, everything seemed to come together on that play. They had the right call, good blocking, and an excellent run all on one down. First down and 10 to go after the big gain on the run. Gets rid of this one. And he's tackled at the twenty seven. Third down, and they need to get it to the nineteen. complete he's got room to work out of bounds at about the 11. he is such a good target really anywhere on the field but they like to get him the ball in short to medium range situations grabs a pitch looking for the corner Tackle at the three. A gain of eight on the carry. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. They've got their goal line sets on the field. This might be a good time for play action. Touchdown, Hawkeyes. Tacks on the extra point. A six-play, 79-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Iowa to kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 32. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Throws it in a hurry. He's at midfield. Tackle made at the 31-yard line. That makes it first and ten. He gets rid of this one. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Passes it to the middle of the field. And they make the stop at the 24. Runs outside for a nice game. Good run by the quarterback. The thing that impresses me is the decision-making. He sees an opening, decides to turn it upfield, and gets a nice gain in a first down. They'll bring him down around the 12-yard line. 
Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. This is the eighth play of this drive. Touchdown, Cougars. He got the handoff and knew exactly what to do with it. They like the fact that they have a halfback who can pick his way so well through defenses. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. He makes the PAT. like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Pretty good-looking touchdown drive the last time these guys were out there. He's taken down around the 35-yard line. From their own 35-yard line, it's first down. Catches it, and that's all. How about that play? It's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. He's at midfield. Hauls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 47. Gets to about the 47-yard line. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. And that's the safety who stepped up to make that tackle. He scrambled. He's tackled right around the 38-yard line. That's a deep 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 deep. Third down. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Brought down the 42-yard line. So they wrapped him up before he could get anything going. Yeah, there was nothing there on that option. And watch out, they're going to bring the heat right here. And he's got to be happy with that punt, Kirk. Yeah, Brad, that was nice. And now they're looking at a long way to go to even think about a score. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. And down he goes, right around the 30. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. Just throws this one away. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. With the pass incomplete. Number three, the receiver right away. That brings up third and ten. The 
go to the screen here, and the halfback's got it. He gets hit out of bounds at the 43-yard line. The man defense proves to be too tough against the screen. That was an excellent job by the defenders. They fought off their blocks and found the ball before the play had a chance to develop. And down he goes at the 29. We played one. We get a tie game at 7-7. Set to resume action here in quarter number two. Deadlocked after the first 15 minutes. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Hand off, and he's met in the backfield. You know, a lot of times coaches look to linebackers for leadership on defense. And on that tackle, he showed you why that's the case. Second down and 12. Ball on the 26. Pressure coming and the ball is loose. He picks it up. It's a good job of securing the fumble and avoiding a turnover. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. down at the 35. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Quick out to his receiver. He's at the 20, and he's taken down at the 18. That's a game of 17. That makes it first and 10. Gets it. He's in space. The 10. Touchdown, Houston. That was a well-drawn up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. Where was the coverage there? There wasn't anybody near him at all. converts the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. Wants to throw outside. Makes the grab and steps out right away. it out to about the 33. 
from the 33 yard line. First down. Makes a catch and he's got nowhere to go. Inside the 10. Fires out to his wideout. What a play, and that'll set up a first and goal. First and goal from the two, and they can smell the end zone. It's power against power right now on the field. Both teams have their jumbo sets out there. point to tie this game up. And he hits the PAT. A nice six play, 75 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drop. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run in the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown. Drive. Iowa gets set to kick this one away. It's fielded at the two. He's taken down at the 21. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. And they'll get him in the backfield. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. Third and five. Ball on their own 25. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. And that makes it fourth down. Boy, great defense on that play. They were expecting the pass, and they defended it very well by getting a hand in there to break up the play. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. And he's tackled at the 47. I think this defense right now needs somebody to try to lift up their spirits. They seem to really be just out there kind of going through the motions. And I think the last time they were out there where they gave up such a long drive has had an impact and an effect negatively on the psyche of this defense. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. middle of the tight end and they get him in the backfield for a loss Iowa's gonna have to use their second time out of the half it's second down and 11 to go ball on the 38 got a receiver and he dropped it number 17 was the intended receiver on the play that makes it third and 11 Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. Fourth and long here after the sack. 
These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. We played a half of football. We're deadlocked right now at 14. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Locked up on the scoreboard at halftime and not really much separation in terms of who's had momentum in the game either, David. It seems as if Every move one team's made been countered by the other. Yeah, tick for tack. You score, I score. You hold, I hold. And, you know, this is uh, this is two great teams going at it. And that's what's – it's always fun to see the chess match go back and forth. And, you know, the uh, momentum swing one way and all of a sudden swing back the other way. But very rarely do you see it go back and forth, back and forth. And now we got it all gridlocked at the half. And it's a good ball game. And it's going to be fun to watch in the second half. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Brad and Kirk ready to – Take you home in the second half. Well, Reese and David, I know you're jealous. This is the kind of games you guys like to do. And that's Thursday night. This is the big show. He's to the 20. Room around the corner. And he's taken down at the 41. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. Feeds it to the back. And he tackles him hard at the 49. That's a That'll bring up second and three. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Number 27, the intended receiver. They need about three yards to get the first down. Here on third down. Tackle at the 46. It's a good surge by the defense. They really disrupted the timing on that play and gave them no chance to get the first. yard line. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clinch up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. He's to the 40. They'll bring him down around the 47 yard line. their own 47 yard line first down fires across the middle tackle made at the 42 the catch and gets out of bounds.
from the 32-yard line. It's first down. He's taken down around the 34-yard line. Picked off. The defensive coordinator did a great job with the play call there. He put his defense in alignment in a position to be able to make a play on the football. Everything worked perfectly. They just dropped the football. Boy, the offense caught a break there. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. It's a nice job here by the wide receiver of looking the ball in and keeping the chains moving. He was on the same page as his quarterback as they both saw the double outside linebacker blitz coming. First and ten, ball on the 19. The ten. He gets to about the five. Brad, you just don't see this very often anymore in college football. That is their fifth first down on this drive alone. They have great rhythm right now as an offense. And look at that poor defense. They're looking over to the sidelines to the defensive coordinator for some help. They need to change things up. Finds the tight end over the middle. Touchdown. Splits the uprights with the extra point. Iowa kick this one off. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, this is a very competitive game. Just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum, the other team comes fighting back, and it's going back and forth. This is almost like a basketball game. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. It's second and ten. Ball on the 25. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 27-yard line. Looking for his man, incomplete. At the 36, Houston's not going to back down from anybody, Irby, I guess, at least not today. No, not today. They've played with a chip on their shoulder. They've stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with the big boys, and I don't think they're finished yet. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. Iowa up seven points. He's going to try and scramble. Aaron and out long. He caught it. The 10. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. Another catch, and he's up to 100 yards now. Well, he's such a big target with good speed, and that's what makes him a dangerous part of this offense. So now it's first and goal after the big pass play. move to finish it off. Touchdown. He's 
been a force, getting to Pater three times. If I were the head coach of this football team, I would give him the ball at least 30 times a game. He makes the PAT. A quick two-play, 63-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. They line up to kick this one away. From his own goal line. They'll bring him down at the 19. The defense did a nice job shutting down the offense the last time they had the ball. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Steps up in the pocket. And great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From their own 19-yard line, second down. He's out to the 30. He's tackled at the 33-yard line. That's good for the first down. First down. Here comes a pressure. Catches it, and that's all. Got some open field. Brought down at the 47 yard line. First down. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. Call it again. Go, 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 go. That brings him second and one. That makes it first and ten. Quick throw out to the receiver, and he's hit immediately. It's second and seven. Ball on the 37-yard line. Makes it out to about the 26. Tackled in the open field. He's out of bounds right around the 10 yard line. That makes it second and six. That's three down and one to go. The Hawkeyes lead it by two touchdowns. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. And he carries the ball for a nice game. on the extra point. Houston is ready to kick it away. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. 
you know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Iowa is up by a touchdown. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. From their own 40-yard line. First down. He's at midfield. Gets out to around the 48. Five coming up. Ball on the 31. Mike's 50. Mike's 50. That's three. Oh. He's at the 20. And down he goes at the 17. I think he was going to go to his tight end the whole way, but the defense didn't expect it. Sometimes those big guys can fool defenders into thinking they're blocking. Iowa is up seven. Makes his way out to about the nine. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. play of the drive. From the five yard line, second down. Gives it to the back, and they make the stop at the three. A two yard run by the halfback. You won't break or bend this linebacker, he won't miss that tackle too often. Just under two minutes in the game. Taken down right around the two-yard line. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. This one should be makeable. Kicks up, and it splits the uprights. Now that really puts the pressure on. Yeah, that was definitely a big field goal because now that puts him up by two scores, and there's not much time left on the clock. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He'll take it from the two. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. And as the defense comes back out, you can be sure they're thinking about that score they surrendered the last time around. A 
under heavy pressure. He chucks it downfield. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. Number 22 breaks up the pass. That makes it second and 10. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Gets it out to his receiver and he can't hang on. Number 27 was the intended receiver on the way. That brings us third and ten. Short over the middle. Tackle right around the 34. Number 21 makes the set ball. Looks like they're gonna go for it on fourth down. So a big, big stop on fourth down here late in the fourth quarter. I'm not sure the offense had much of a choice here. It was a pretty short conversion. The defense just made a good play. Really a great stop by the defense. This will go down as one of those critical plays. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. He is drilled at the 24. Tailback picks up a good-looking 10 yards on the draw. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. They'll bring him down at about the 21. Well, that's a big-time first down. I know it's not a huge game, but the offensive line, they took control up front. The defense knew that the run was coming. They still could not slow them down, and that's going to allow the offense to work some more clock. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. And he'll just take a knee here to kill the clock. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.